Wow, I'm outside making a video. Hey guys, so I'm going on holiday next week, so you won't see me next Saturday, but hopefully I'll get hold of my friend, she'll be able to make a video, and hey, it's always good to meet new people, so that's good. So this week's challenge is to make a video arguing why your state slash province slash country is the best, basically. Um, I say country for me as England is relatively small and I'll not be speaking about the United Kingdom. Um, I also understand there's a lot of diversity um, towards US states with each state essentially having its own different culture. Um, but even if you hate where you live, you can't say anything negative and you don't have to go in specific on where you live unless you want to. Like I'm going to say really general, just talking about England in general so you don't have to go in specifics. First off, I would like to say I'm English, not British. I don't really understand this USA obsession with saying I have a British accent slash I'm British because if you were to come across Scotsman you wouldn't you would call him Scottish with a Scottish accent yet technically he has a British accent as well um, it's just too general basically um, so yeah for the record I'm English not British and a lot of English people feel the same way um, if you don't understand why a Scotsman has a British accent you're not a Northern Irishman you seriously need geography lesson, yeah. Um, my favourite thing about England, although it does refer to the whole of the UK, is the NHS. English people very much have the attitude that healthcare and life is a fundamental right. For example, why we also don't have the death penalty. Um, for some mad reason, foreigners look on and think it's some crap system with an awful standard of healthcare and falling down, broken down, hospitals. What? In fact, you couldn't be more wrong. Basically, the hospital my sister went to for work experience last week was, well, it couldn't have been more modern, basically. And um, you can get drugs on the NHS that you can't get on the American healthcare system. Like, insurance, just because it's that expensive that insurance companies won't pay for it. And yet you get it on the NHS, so you actually get almost better healthcare. It's more organised, so it's cheaper and stuff like that. Um, Generally, it's fantastic and a really high quality of healthcare. And also, everyone gets it, whether you're a multi-millionaire or a homeless man. And even foreigners get it if it's like a matter of life or death. Um, we're also very open-minded in England. Homophobia of any kind is extremely looked down on. Registrars in mar marriage registry offices can get fired if they refuse to marry gay couples. Um, I've got a sheet here. And the traditional family scene where the man goes out to work and the um, woman stays home and cleans the cup children hardly exists. It's pretty much 50-50. Men and women pretty much have equal roles in the family. I, ca I can't think of a family I know that still has that system. It's just really old-fashioned in England. And very much, and also we don't have any prejudice for religious beliefs. Like I'm really atheist. I go to a really religious Church of England school and nobody cares. Like, they're just like, oh, okay, and my best friend's really religious, like, really religious, and, you know, I'm just like, hey, you're really religious, I'm really not religious. Let's be friends. Um, and also we have a very high standard of education. For example, I'm the equivalent of sophomore year in the USA, and I think 10th grade in Canada, um, but I'm not really sure how the Canadian one works, so I don't have any friends in the Canadian education system. Um, anyway, I think. Well, I've just finished year 11, but still. Anyway, um, the exams I've just taken, a 5A to C grade would be the equivalent to a high school diploma in the USA. And I'm hoping, along with most of the year 11s in England, to get at least 10 A to C grades. And the A levels I'm taking next year are the equivalent to first year of American University. That puts it into kind of perspective. Um, hmm. Um, I guess you can probably see everything I've said to do with politics, but I think government and politics really does make a like, good country. I mean, I can't say I love our new P um, Prime Minister who wants to upturn the NHS system without mentioning it once in his manifesto, but I think good laws and politics make a fantastic place to live, basically. And of course, there are its faults in England, every country has faults, but, then, um, but I think overall it's good. And then, also I don't live in like a severely disadvantaged area, so I can only say what I know in my area. But anyway, anyway, I can't wait to see yours. Bye-bye.